It has been a week. After Paul accused me of stealing the Moonstone, I learned that yes, I was given a sleep aid without my knowledge, which I believe led me to take the Moonstone unawares. After confirming that, I knew that I had to tell Josette what had happened and apologize. And she graciously and immediately forgave me. Of course I forgave her. The curse strikes again. Only in this house. <laughs> but after talking to Josette, I realized I have more questions about that night than answers. I need to know if there's any additional information that would shine a light on the rest of this case. So, I reached out to an old friend. Hey Jack, I finally heard from Maya. Not even an April Fool's joke. I didn't know if Maya would want to talk or if she'd even respond. But late last night, I received this. Yo, Johnny, got your message. Yeah, the puzzle was me. When Cuff brought my name back into the mix, I got spooked. I didn't want to be the last one mentioned if this case was going to die. But then I saw your video with Josette and I believe you that you didn't know you took the Moonstone. I mean, why else would you go back? Which is why I gave an assist, but the rest of the video is basically useless. Sorry. I don't know what happened with the Moonstone after that, but I'm around if you wanna talk. So not many specifics from Maya, but at least now we know where the riddle came from. I'll have to follow up with her offline, see if she has anything else she wants to say, because whew, I still have lots of questions. From a historical perspective, I've had another chance to do some more deep dive research on the Moonstone's origin, so... Get your nerd hats on! <laughs> Remember how I said the Moonstone was stolen from a ship? <laughs> well, that ship had a name, and it was called the Mirthwaite. <laughs> Now, the Mirthwaite belonged to the British East India Trading Company, which was Britain's economic presence in the East that also included kind of a private army. <laughs> Colonization. Am I right? The ship's manifest listed a healthy amount of opium, so it's a safe bet she was on her way to the British Isles from India. But where things get really wacky are these raiders. So back up. At the time, the American Revolutionary War had just ended with the signing of the Treaty of Paris in 1783, marking a time of peace between Britain and the brand new United States of America. But in 1799, a group of American traders got into a disagreement with some British officers in Cape Town, which was a main port of call for ships passing to and from India and Britain. The Americans decided to loot the British ship and included in the haul, the Moonstone. Now, I don't want to blame the curse, but once it was stolen, the diamond caused infighting amongst the American traders. And for generations, this group of merchants murdered one another and stole the stone back and forth until it wound up in the hands of Herman Marshall, star of that weird film reel that we watched back in December. Sorry. You, hey, Candy. Sorry to interrupt you. No, it's fine. What's up? I just wanted to say something. Okay. Like, to them. Are you sure? You don't have to. No, I do. I need to. Okay. I think everyone probably already suspects, but... I'm the one who gave Donnie the sleep aid that, we assume, made her seal the moonstone. I knew you were having trouble sleeping, and I saw you had a prescription, so I decided to mix it into your tea to see if it would help. 
It never even occurred to me that that could be the reason why the Moonstone disappeared until Donnie talked to me a few days ago. It makes perfect sense now. And I know we already talked about it, mm -hmm. but at the very least, you deserve a public apology. I didn't mean for anything bad to happen, but I understand now that that's drug assault. I'm so, so, so very sorry. And I forgive you, okay? I know that you no, were just trying to help. I need so. to say this. It's never okay to take away someone's choice about what goes into their body. I didn't think about it that way, but it's a lesson I'll never forget. I have boundary issues. I know that now. Thank you for apologizing, Candy. And I can explain to Reverend Stoddard what happened because oh. it's my fault. No, that... Candy. Paul and I, that's not your fault. We have a lot of things that we need to work through and that has nothing to do with you. Okay? Also, I did sleep really well that night. <laughs> <laughs> so in the end, we know a little more such as, yes, I most likely took the diamond under the influence of drugs. Not an April Fool's joke. We also know how that happened and who the mysterious footage came from. That's a lot more than we used to know. Yes, but we still don't know what I did with the Moonstone after stealing it or how it ended up on Luker at all. Huh. There's got to be a way to figure out what happened after I took it. How? I mean, we can't exactly retrace your steps. What if we could? What? What if we could retrace my steps? What do you mean? How would we even do that? Oh, I think I have a really bad idea. Still not an April Fool's joke. Yeah.